We welcome you here to a big night of fights. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside my ringside partner, Teddy Atlas. Looking forward to all the action today, and we're just about set for it. His belief that he can overcome anything is showing through. He's bubbling over with confidence. ring walk something special in the air you can just sense it out of him All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. All right, let's go. Everybody's been waiting for these two to meet up. Now they do as round one is underway. And he ties up on the inside. Good job staying away from the danger there. He's showing what a skilled fighter he is with the counter punching. Well, the old times used to say when you come in there, when you control in there, you can make him do what you want. He made him tie his shoelaces right there. He scored well after being hit himself. Little head hunting with the left. Keep going. Coming upon the halfway mark of this three-minute round. Keep working, bud. Big uppercut right on the mark. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Good accurate work there after blocking that blow. Warriors putting a smile on his corner man's face right there and frustrating his opponent with that jab. That punch just close. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. that punch intended for the head. Come on, get focused. Final 10 seconds of round number one. Blocks that punch. The Warriors getting himself into the mix now, landing that left hand. Look at me. This is yours. 
You hear me? This is your fight. Keep it up. Keep scoring points. Just keep throwing punches. Okay, listen to me. I want you to bang the head and the body, all right? Upstairs, downstairs, and over again. Yeah, we'll get him, we'll get him. Yeah. Here we go. Round two is underway. The warrior is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Scored well upstairs with the right hand. And now just wasting everybody's time holding on. The Warriors blocking ability is doing well for him there. Good right hand. Look at this, another power punch able to land. We're early on in this fight, he's going for it. Yeah, you want the Big, big shot he just scored with. Early on here in the round, and he's already down. And he doesn't look good at all. One, two, three, four, five. He gets up after that punch, put him down on the canvas. Now he needs to get on that bicycle and stay away from this guy. And there he is scoring with the right hand. The warrior is showing you a little defensive skill there. I'm going to move away from that punch. And he's holding. Come on, kid, focus. Teddy, among the things that we should be looking for early is which fighter can show a wide array of an offense. Yeah, you don't want to always be coming in that front door all the time. You want to come in the side door every once in a while, you know. Sometimes you want to maybe even come through the roof, down the chimney. You want to mix it up. Now he ties up there. Punch didn't come close. Up the punch. Let it go. Gets rid of that effort. Just not there. Straight right hand off the mark. Seconds remaining in this round. Great movement to get away from those punches. All right, listen. You need to create more counters, okay? Slip his punch, then throw a straight. Nice work, nice work. Don't get too close. Don't get too close, all right? I need you to move more. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. Much better. The Warriors bounces back in his step. Start of a new round coming off of a round in which he really took some punishment. Well, I don't know if he's hip to the idea of becoming a counter puncher, but I get the sense you'd agree with him. Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's got the perfect platform, the perfect form for it. The guy's walking in right now, not moving his head much. He can time him, he can counter him. That's it. 
That's what I want to see. You're not focusing. And now he scores well with a straight right. Nice. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. Nice! Keep moving! Keep moving! Now hugging on the inside. Halfway through this round here. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Keep that head moving. The Warriors sticking to his game plan, regardless of the fact that he's been down in this fight. Yeah, the one threat you could compliment him for, Joe, you could say he, he understands who he is, he understands his identity, he's gonna win or lose with that. But on the other hand, there are some changes he has to be aware of. Just missed with that punch. The Warriors not having things go his way tonight, but there's one easy explanation for it. He's barely moving. He's just stationary there. And his opponent's taking great advantage of that. He's coming in, he's finding them, he's giving them angles. You know, I think part of it is frustration. He's not moving because he's being kept off balance, and right now he's just not thinking right. 10 seconds to go in this round. And we come to the end of the round. You are dominating this fight. Keep it up. Just keep doing what you're doing. You need to capitalize on his misses, okay? I want to see that counter hook. Make him pay for his misses. Don't waste energy, but I want you to keep those hands moving. There you go. Keep it simple, okay? Round number four is underway. A chance for us to look at Teddy's scorecard. And obviously, the round to circle there, you see the knockdown was scored. And that's how professional boxing is supposed to be. The guy who lands the cleaner, more effective punches, he gets an advantage. He gets an extra score. Head and body, head and body. The Warriors' defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Good way to protect the midsection. Teddy, it is such a gift that he has right here. We're seeing such a technically sound defensive fighter. Yeah, we are. You know, the old-time trainers would say, Teddy, he's doing the hard part. And that is the hard part. Stalin. Once again, he goes down. Can he survive this? over the Warriors a knockout victim he couldn't beat the count how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch? Can a guy defend? You know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Thanks for being with us. 
Enjoy the rest of your evening.